Okay, so welcome to another episode of uh, Click Team Fusion Tutorials because uh, I've been getting a lot of comments about um, creating this sort of a uh, tutorial, uh, the free version to APK. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create um, an APK file for an Android phone using the free version of um, Click Team Fusion 2.5. And I'm discouraging you from buying the plugin. Um, I'm just saying that this is it. I'm just saying it's possible to do. Okay. All right. Mine may <laughs> okay. So mine may, may not be the most practical thing to do, but uh, it is possible. So I'm going to show you how. Okay. So I have an example here. Uh, you can download this uh, APK file from the link down below. That it's going to be on my itch.io um, page. Okay. So I have an active active object here is uh, just a regular circle okay if you run this uh, you notice that that's a bouncing ball so let me just uh, I don't know test the position of this if it leaves the play area you can just make it bounce we just need something to do okay uh, I guess if you click somewhere you could create uh, new new objects. See around there, nothing fancy. Just create a bunch of bouncing balls. You can even make them bounce against each other too. Collision with self, I uh, guess, uh, bounce as well. There you go. That's our app. All right, so now we're going to export this as a HTML5 and we're going to convert this to um, APK. A in APK is a file you can uh, load into an Android phone or upload it to the uh, Google Play Store. Okay, so let me uh, export this. It's going to be called yellow test 2. I already did one test. Okay, so here is the um, the file. If you run this, uh, you'll notice that you can run the application uh, on a local server. I mean, you could if you uh, install an HTTP server on your computer. So what you need to do is um, uh, either run it from here or install a yeah, HTTP server inside your computer. So, so you, so you kind of need hosting, okay? So, um, I went to this website here. It's called uh, 000 West Web Host, and they allow you to have um, uh, a free, and they allow, and they give you free hosting, okay? So, so you go to manage, okay? And uh, we're gonna go to the file manager. And you can see that um, I have two folders here. So you're going to upload your files to this here, um, public HTML. Okay, you can see that uh, I have the same files here at, uh, over here. Let me just make that bigger there so you can see. Index and all the resources. There you go, that's our runtime there, JavaScript. Um, <clears throat> so really what you do is I just upload this here. I'm going to show you how to upload this. Okay. So you simply hit this button here. Here's a yellow test to upload your um, index. Hit upload. Now this doesn't the the premium version allows you to use FTP, but this one doesn't. The free one doesn't. So what you need to do is uh, you need to create a folder, okay, with this button here. I already created this folder here, and um, wait for that to load. It's a bit slow sometimes. Public HTML. 
<clears throat> so double click on source and here is our runtime so what you do is that you upload your runtime over there like so and you do the same thing for the other files as well on the resources uh, pretend this is not here so you to your resources and you don't need to uh, do it one by one one by one you can select everything and upload this will overwrite whatever you have over there in case you have different versions so now I'm gonna go to the actual address the, uh, let me just go here and uh, let me see do, 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 do. Uh, dashboard here yeah. go to the uh, home page here you can uh, view your website and there is our application you click and it will create bouncing balls so then you need to go to this uh, website over here it's called uh, turn your uh, what is this called? I think it's called Grade or something. So I already signed up for an account. They do have a premium version, and there are other websites that allow you to do that too. Uh, this one it's not too bad actually. So we're gonna create a new one. Okay. So I'm gonna go to uh, Create App. I'm gonna get the um, address of my uh, application. Here it is. So you take um, the address for your um, free hosting and you simply paste it here. Okay, the app name. Uh, the previous one was called Bouncing Ball. This one will be called Super Bouncing. Email. I mentioned Sparkman. If you want to email me about stuff, that's my email. Uh, don't spam me. So for the icon, you can use whatever you want. Let me upload something here. I'm going to use this one here. And the theme color. Uh, just for a change, let's try uh, orange. Next. Now you can add different features to this, but... Um, I wouldn't bother with that. So uh, I'm going to hit next here. And like I said, there are, are other apps. This might not be the best one, but um, this this kind of works. Okay. So go next. App Kisser, I guess. I, I don't know how to say that. Let me see. All right. So you download your app, your APK, which I will leave uh, in the link down below. So simply download this messing up and I believe it's because I'm too far away from the router right here it is <laughs> I think it crashed on me there uh, so download this and uh, oh, you, it looks like you can actually save this for iOS as well that's that's pretty good okay that was building our app it's called App Ge Geezer. Ge Geezer. <laughs> there you go. So download this. So I'm going to hit save here. It's making the file uh, 22 megs. Now the um, free version comes with like ads and stuff. So. Mm, delete this here. All right. All right. So that is how you export in APK using the free version. It does have ads when you load it on your phone, so uh, be aware of that. Uh, there are other websites that allow you to do that too, but uh, for now, that's how you can do it. 
All right, so I just wanted to show you that. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Bye now.